hey hey <laughs> good morning y'all uh we're about to go to the grocery store and we're gonna bring you through the day with us uh but there's audrey i thought i would show something to you real quick right before we head to the grocery store i recently got some new dossier fragrances i've shared dossier with you before y'all know i love them but they have something new that I'm going to show you. First, let me show you the fragrance, like the perfume and cologne. So I got Justin a cologne this time. This is the first time I've gotten him one. And what was it inspired by? So I got him Woody Coriander, and it is inspired by Dulce & Gabbana, the one for men. And it smells so good. He has been enjoying that and wearing it. And then for myself... I got floral aldehydes, and this is supposed to smell like Chanel number no. five, which is what I used to wear all the time until the last few years where I just won't spend the money on it. This is a fraction of the cost. So, Dossier, they have fragrances that are inspired by high end fragrances at a fraction of the price. And so, for $39 or less, you can get a fragrance that smells like something you might already enjoy that costs you upwards to $200. So, this is inspired by Chanel Number no. 5. And y'all, when I opened it, when we first got it, I opened it and I put it on. And Justin said, without me even like prompting him, he said, that smells like what you used to wear all the time. Oh, a hummingbird's back at the hummingbird feeder. I haven't seen any in a few days. So that's exciting but he said that smells like what you used to wear so there you go y'all it smells like Chanel number no. five and I've been really enjoying that now what they have that's new are these room fragrances and I have floral honeysuckle they come with these papers too to give you all the information about them and so for this you screw the top off we're gonna pull out this little plastic stopper put this back on so I'm gonna let Audrey do that and then you put these down in it and every few days you just flip them over and they have room fragrances now that's so exciting uh, put this back on and then put them down in is it not what it says to do Oh, go for it then. <laughs> Audrey read the instructions. So we're going to put that up over here in the living room. And when we get home from the grocery store, I'll update you and let you know how it smells. That's exciting. I'm, I'm excited about this and really looking forward to it. I will leave a link for Dossier down in the description box so that you can go check them out. They have fantastic fragrances, something for everyone. And they also have a really good return policy. So if you get something and you don't like it, you can return it. All right, so let's sit this here. And when we come home, we'll see if we can smell it when we come in. good thumbs up <laughs> we went by mcdonald's and got some breakfast that was our uh meal of choice out today we usually get something out when we go get groceries so we got breakfast at mcdonald's we're gonna go in walmart uh haven't done that in a while kind of do a shop with me see what we see that might be new just not done it in a while i thought it would be fun we got a little bit of time before our pickup order will be ready and i wanted to pick out my own produce and then there were a couple things that justin needed that i didn't realize until after i placed the order so we're gonna pick those up and see what we see in here share it with you and then we'll go over and get, yeah <laughs> then we'll go over and get our grocery pickup order it's also raining a little bit today we would do grocery grocery day on a rainy day that's all right. The garden will appreciate it. All the 4th of July things. Oh, uh, look at these scrunchies. Those are cute. 
noodle sling. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So I guess you wrap it, you put it, the noodle through it, and then you can see it. That is neat. Like, you see what the water is? <laughs> it's up to our neck. Yeah, but the float doesn't, well, maybe so. I don't know. I guess it would just depend. Kinds of camping stuff. Bean bags. Matching chairs. Oh, I see. So there's the sleeping bag, the lantern, tent, and chair all to match. Look at this cooler. Oh my goodness. I love that. There's a purple one with flowers. I usually go for the purple stuff, but I think I like the other better. Yeah. I like that one better. Oh, matching fanny packs. <laughs> Oh yeah, those are backpack coolers. Wyatt has a Spider-Man birthday coming up, so I think let me go ahead and get a few napkins. Who is that? How many plates are in the, yeah, turn it over and see what it says on the back. How many? Eight. Eight count. Well, I was trying to decide if I wanted to get these for cake and then just get regular plates yeah. for food. Okay, we'll get these. These tea, well, I call them tea jugs because that's what we put in them, but I suppose they're just pitchers. Gallon pitchers are two ninety eight. Ones with strawberries and stripes. Oh, there's one with watermelons. All the Fortnite inspired cosmetics. So they've got like mini sun chips, Doritos, uh, cheese, what are those, like cheese balls. Flaming Hot Minis, Takis. No, they were just cheese balls. I would like Sunship. these, but I would probably Sunship. be the only one. Oh, I like them. I yeah, the them. scorching yeah. ones? Philly cheese steak. What is this? Is it like water flavors, yeah. but it's prime? It's not. It's electrolytes. What's that mean? Kind of like Gatorade. What is Gatorade? Is it by Gatorade? No. Apparently, I don't know all the cool stuff. <laughs> Update on the Reed Diffuser. It smells so good. I noticed it when I walked in and I walked back to my bathroom where the doors have been closed and when I came back out I could notice the smell it's not overpowering it's just a nice scent so there's an update on that we made it home groceries are on the table and I'm gonna show them to you y'all we all got loaded up in the car pulled around to pick up and they called and said they couldn't bring the groceries out because it was lightning and it really I don't think it was really storming that much then but maybe it was and I just didn't see it so I had to pull around and park and go in and get the groceries and bring them out myself, which isn't a big deal, but we had all just gotten in the car and pulled around there. Uh, I understand it though. <laughs> it was definitely inconvenient. Anyway, uh, we got the groceries and we got them home and got them in the house. It is storming so much. I don't think I realized it was supposed to be this storming today. Y'all can probably hear the rain and thunder. It's, it's, it's stormy. So anyway, I'm going to show you the groceries. Meal plan this week. I'm thinking, what did I put on the meal plan? I know we're going to do a potato scramble. And that's going to be part of a what's for dinner video. I'm also going to do homemade hamburger helper. We'll do pizza one night. We're going to grill one night. I got some hamburgers and hot dogs. We're going to make homemade buns. 
probably either do breakfast for dinner one night or we'll pull something from the freezer. We're trying to go through some of our whole chickens before it's time to fill the freezer up again. So maybe we'll do that one night and then we'll have a takeout and a feed yourself night where everybody is responsible <laughs> for their own dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the non-food things that are over here on the bar. So we got some stuff for Wyatt's birthday, some cake plates and some napkins. Justin needed some more hair pomade, so we got that. A can of formula. We're not out yet, but I wanted to just have it on back up. And then diapers, I actually got two packs for Wyatt. These are Wyatt's, two for Wyatt, two for Fletcher. We needed some more contact solution, some soap for the kitchen to put by the kitchen sink, paper plates, and we needed some more charcoal for when we do our grilling. And the food is over here. We got avocados, and y'all, we're starting to bring stuff in from the garden. <laughs> That's really exciting, but I still got some produce, some avocados, some strawberries. Look, we got so excited when we saw these. They have these cherries that we love so much. Is it Rainier? Am I saying that right? We always get excited when we see these. They're expensive, but they're so good. Got these peppers to put cream cheese on and snack. Two bunches of bananas. Oh, there's this. Y'all hear that? It's a storm. Storm radio. Hang on. Uh, warning means that there is a thunderstorm. Did you oh, push the long button? Yeah. Okay, thank you. No, just thunderstorm. We get a lot of tornado watches and warnings here too. And that's what the kids were trying to find out if it was a tornado or a thunderstorm. It said it was a thunderstorm warning. Uh, okay, back to the groceries. I don't remember where I left off. Let's see, some sourdough bread and some white sandwich bread. We did get some of these mini sun chips to try them out. I needed some more tomato paste and tomato sauce. I use that in the homemade hamburger helper drinks some Ellie yellows some dr peppers and then the boys especially have been liking these starries the minis so i got some of those and some milk i was gonna say i don't see justin's milk but i do it's sitting over here we'll get to that in just a second some shredded cheese we were out of mayonnaise so i got some more mayonnaise we got a box of fruit snacks we've gone through all the ones that we got at sam's i really need to go back to sam's because I've got a few things that I would like to get. I just haven't made it yet. So fruit snacks, strawberry pop tarts, honey barbecue corn chips, those are a favorite, and some of the great value nacho cheese chips. There's Justin's Fairlife milk, and the kids helped me set the table up. That's why I was like, where's the milk? Uh, and some chocolate milk. I'm very grateful that they wanted to help. I got some of this Imperial vegetable oil spread. I won't even call it butter, uh, but I do like to use this. For different things, y'all y'all get on me sometimes. That's not butter, that's not butter. But I do have certain things that I like to use this for. So I got some more bacon and Cajun turkey. Oh my goodness, y'all, I love this Cajun turkey. So we got some of that for sandwiches. I also got two things of like the one pound turkey. What do you call these? Is it chubs? Is that what you're supposed to call them? I'm going to use these instead of ground beef in a couple of recipes this week. I used to do this all the time, and when we have our own beef in the freezer, you know, that's just what I use, but because we're out of ground beef, I got those. Some pepperonis, fig bars, vanilla ice cream. We've been making some milkshakes, so I got some vanilla ice cream, hot dogs, and hamburger patties for our grilling night. Microwave pizzas, that's what Huddy had fixed himself for lunch. I just like to have those in the freezer. And then for our pizza night, I got a Tombstone 5 cheese and 4 meat. The boys like to have these sausage biscuits for breakfast, and I like these sometimes myself. So I got some more of those, some blackberry lemonade. This is my favorite water flavor. So some more of that, I was out. And then I wanted these thick and fluffy waffles, but I also got... Well, I didn't realize I got blueberry. I thought I got, uh, anyway, they'll like the blueberry. Apparently I got blueberry waffles. I thought I just got the regular like buttermilk waffles. I guess I didn't. We're gonna get all of these things put away and hopefully this storm lets up because Audrey's actually supposed to have 
some basketball games, some like summer basketball games that we're supposed to be going to. So we're gonna get all this stuff put away and hopefully the storm lets up so we can all load back up and go to those basketball games. We love you, we appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Before I close the video out, I wanted to update y'all on the those blueberry biscuits that we got last week. Don't get them. None of us liked them. We didn't enjoy them. I mean, you know what? I'm not going to tell you not to get them. You, you, you can get them and you can try them. Let me know what you think. Somebody actually left me a comment saying that they didn't like them either. But we didn't. The lemon was almost artificial tasting. And they were a little dry. So, I wouldn't recommend them. Fletcher is hollering for mama. I'm going to go ahead and close this out now but I wanted to give you an update on that.